Mario owns our Morris, Tenos, and African come together as one to amalgamate. You comprehend? Rena! Hey, check this. See him? White folks, they say they run a race slave, them are maroon. They never say if you're African or what, don't? Mm -hmm. But me tell you who make maroon? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Tell you know. More is an African, amalgamate to one blood, them make maroon, yeah? When Kojo rebel upon that plantation and start fighting them white folks and run to the hills. The rebellious, the rebellious tainers take them in because they have some tainers, they, they, they feel the tainers them extinct. You can't come in a people land and just kill them off and just check, kill them and check so you kill half of them. Some of them must run and escape. We have tainers in the hills who escape that. When cut of them run off, them sister boy culture have them said agenda like where them have. So them take them in and them amalgamate my youth. So culture them start reading really of the people them picnic. <laughs> come on them and Africa. yo, come together as one. Right now we are standing on the edge of the monument of Kojo. And Kojo was a great resistance against the military plantation. The king and the captain was not actually buried here, but where his buried is further in the mountain. But for once and once to come and have an understanding and overview of everything, that's why we build this monument here in honor for him. Right now, when you look on this plaque, this plaque says a seal ground. A seal ground is regarded as a holy ground. It was through these grounds during those old days between the war between the Maroons and the British. Where they used to go and do their rituals. During rituals, where one get interaction with the spirit and fall in a chance, which is called Mayal. Just like in St. Thomas, they would say Kumina. But in a compound, everything is called Mayal. When you fall in that chance, you can interact to the people and tell them what's going to happen or what's going to transpire the next day. But a compound is a fortified community that grew through the military plantation owners and we keep our sovereignty. We have a communal system, you know, a system of togetherness. So, so you find it, it, it descends, the culture does descend. Like, like, like for instance, how we live, it, it, we have an impeccable record where, where, where behavior is concerned. You get what I'm saying? And it's true, and yet if you look, we don't have a station up here or nothing, but we have, we have that restraint and refrain. Right? You get what I'm saying, that built-in culture that sometimes we wish if, we wish if outsiders could adapt something, even adapt that from us. Things don't go beyond verbal little argument, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure you know, it resolve before it has to reach that. You know what I'm saying? Because land, land is available, because the treaty says you know, the land must descend from the barn and the unborn. So a man no need to fuss now and fight over land. You know what I'm saying? And you get what I'm saying? So, 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 you know, we use resilience and go out there and create a livelihood. When it comes to January 6th, which is our main festival here, we do a ceremonial feasting of our ancestors. And the food that is being prepared is prepared straight without salt, spices, or seasoning. And that food is like yam, planting, rooster, and hog, pork. But the hog that is used is black hog, no white hog thing. And we don't kill that pig like how they kill it in the butcher stall with boiling water and thing. We swinge the hair off. No spice, no pepper, nothing added. When our ancestors were isolated, they never have the chance of buying powder season like we use in now. They never have the chance of getting pepper because they are still running. So it's just like they would say rice, pita, rice, kill and eat. But 
Our ancestors just cook, roast, cook and eat, or boil, cook and eat. Our rituals continue, it, it don't break down. But not everyone can do it. Because for instance, even when it comes to the 6th of January, when we have the festival, if you take part in that activity and you sleep with your fiancé tonight, you can't go there and do certain things. The spirit will whip you. You have to be pure. Lock off that little. Lock off that.